people. That's why he came. And that's why when you sit there and you say, there's no way that God can use me. Oh, really? He used an ass. If he can use an ass, he can use me. He can use you. I don't care what you said, where you been, where you go, but God said, if you humble yourself to me, I can restore you and I can choose you. He said, many are tall, but few chose him. I find somebody right there and say, you chose him. There's somebody right there, you chose him. Oh, don't get tired of that. No, no, no. Don't get all holy. Don't get all holy. Then he says, then he says, do this, watch. He says, do this in remembrance of me. What is he saying? We know the scripture, we can quote it. We can quote it in Aramaic, Hebrew, or Latin. Do this in remembrance of me. <laughs> you see, he wasn't talking about the Last Supper. He was talking about what was getting ready to happen. Remember me during my pain. Remember me when you see those 39 lashes. Remember me when they put a crown that I did not deserve. Remember me when I got kicked on and spat on and you know the rest of it because I've already explained. He said, remember me. He says, do this in remembrance of me. Why? Why should we remember that? Because the next time you complain that you don't have a job that you don't want, that, that you don't have the promotions not there yet, the house, the, well, that I really don't want this house. Understand what he did for you. And oh, church, you're not here what I'm saying. We complain too much about the car, about the house, about the promotion, about this and this and that. God, to stop complaining. Don't you see what I've done for you? Remember me, he said. You see, you're not getting what I'm saying, church. We live in a society where we put price tags on things. Let me explain. Let me explain. A Jaguar XJ220 runs for $587,000. Stay with me. $587,000 for a Jaguar. You need to put down $87,000 down just so that you can order your car. Alright? You put that down and then you get the car, you pay the full price, the other $500,000 that is owed, they give you the keys and then they offer you a $4,000 8 ounce bottle of wax. <laughs> Church, you better hear what I'm saying. They offer you this bottle of wax and they say, no, oh, we figure if you can pay the $587,000, another $4,000 won't hurt you. So if you like that, we would love to pack it back in your car and did we mention that we also have the matching luggage for 10 grand more? You see, what I'm trying to get at is we see things according to media, social media and Facebook and we put trade prices and value on certain things. Oh my God, look at that car, it's a Ferrari, don't touch it. Or we see this house, oh my God, uh, lifestyles of the rich and conceited, or it doesn't call that, but that's what happens. And, and, and you see all this, and oh my God. And so we try to live up to that. And we say, oh, if I could only have a house like that, if I could only have a car like that, you can't even take care of the $10,000 car you got now and you keep asking God to give you greater. God says, those that are faithful in the middle, I will put you in our church of the country. And so we put Christ on TV, on material things, so on and so forth. So when we come to church, we try to put a price tag on Jesus dying on the cross, but I got news for you. No PayPal, no debit card, no credit card, none of that. No welfare, no Obamacare, no Medicaid, no Medicare can pay the debt that God paid for you. Don't you ever look at this thing the same way again. 
or you sit with your family in your Denny's, or you're at your rancho, or you're having a buffalo wing for all I care, and you're joining together in unity, you're not criticizing, and you're not fighting, that's community. You're bringing back the body of Christ. Somebody give it away. This doesn't show justice. If, if, if just this amount of blood would have been shed, oh man, that would have been a pimple. But God said, I'm going to send my son and he's going to shed every single drop. Not because you deserve it, but because he says, my mercy and my grace I give to you if you're willing to receive it. Amen. Next time. You see this? Don't take it for granted. Because somebody named Jesus paid a debit. They paid a debt you couldn't afford. Never take this for granted. Emily. Emily is going to give you some instructions on how we're going to do this. I hope you were blessed by this word. <laughs> I